Good morning. So this is your start here video for the week of September 21st through the 25th. As you can see, I am already in Google Classroom where you should begin. And when this video is finished, it will be posted right here. Also a reminder that we will have a Google Live Meet available for you to join in and do numbers not really two, because I start it right after we do two. That's when we're writing. But to do kind of three, four, if you want to do some of those along with us, that would be fine. You can join then. We will post the code and what time on Monday. Okay, past that, if you are working on your own independently, the first thing we always start with is a quick write here. There's a link that will take you to the assignment. This week's assignment is a check-in. So you will click, it will take you to No Red Ink, and when you go in, it's a quick write. A quick write must be 75 words to get a full credit on this. And it is entitled, I am Groot. And what I'm doing in our classroom, we have a picture of Groot on our board. And if you're familiar with Groot, you understand that in Guardians of the Galaxy, he only says, I am Groot. Sometimes he says it mean. Sometimes he says it happy. Sometimes he says it as a question. But it's still, I am Groot. And I am Groot means many different things for those who understand him. What I'm going to ask for you to do is to think about how you're doing with uh, learning now. If you're in school or virtual, it doesn't matter. How is thing, How are you? How are things going? This is kind of like a check-in. How are you mentally? How are you emotionally? Any of those things so that if you were to say, I am Groot, and it would be talking about how you're feeling about school right now, this is the place for you to share it with me. All right, once we finish that assignment, it's supposed to only take about five to 10 minutes. I have posted here a how to use actively learn, okay? This is just a video because the next two assignments will be in actively learn okay so that you will be clicking and going to them so let's start the first is a video and it's like what makes a hero a hero and you click actively learn and it will load and it will ask how to sign in log in with google okay it will double check who you are yes all right if it needs anything else, it will pop up and ask for you that it needs anything else, okay? And here you'll see, you're gonna have a video to watch and you have questions, okay? Do you have anything in common with Harry Potter, Katniss Everdeen and Frodo, okay? And you will be answering. Now I'm in the teacher version, so your questions may set up. You notice because I've got it posted for everyone to ask this but you watch the video and answer just like we've been doing with Nearpod here, okay? Once you are finished, I will close that. Notice it was only four or so minutes, four to five minutes as a kind of an introduction to what is a hero. The idea here is that over the course of your homework last week, you were reading from the graphic novel, The Odyssey, and we have been looking at Odysseus and he's considered a hero by greek standards so we're going to determine we're kind of still looking is he a hero how does he act when these uh adventures take place now we're going to do a more detailed reading having looked at and already been introduced last week through our crash course video that he runs into a cyclops and he goes into the cave and eats the cheese and the Cyclops catches them and eats some of the men and they have to escape. This is where Odysseus says his name is no man or nobody. And then once he escapes, he tells them his real name and the Cyclops calls down curses on him and his men. OK, we are actually going to read this and this is written now. It's going to be a little more difficult reading. It is a reading that you're going to do that, that's the real story, that actual story, okay? And so notice, as you read, you're going to have a question to start. Have you ever read a book or seen a movie that featured a one-eyed monster? And you will go through this particular reading 
answering as you go. It will not let you move forward until you have answered whatever questions that it has assigned to you. Okay? All right. The Odyssey, the Cyclops. Those are our main, because this is going to take a while. These are our main activities for in class this week that we will be doing. After that, as always, every week, you have your membeam to do as an assignment for your grades. Then for homework for my in-class students, for those of you who are virtual, this is just finishing out your week. You have a couple of things. First, here's a grammar. This is a quotation practice. This is actually kind of another. It's talking about the Cyclops and Odysseus and some of their conversations. And you have to go in and correct any errors you find, paying special attention to the dialogue. That's where people are speaking and the need for quotation marks, okay? If you're not sure, you can go to Purdue Owl, which is on our Google site as a link to see how to use quotation marks or simply type it in, okay? All right, so that is one. You should be able to type in that document. Next, here is another section of our graphic novel. This is where you're going to again read and part of one of your little section, one part of this it's many of his stories, but one part will be about the sirens. Listen and watch kind of the sirens because that's what we'll be looking at next week. Once you read that, you have one question to answer. It is here. Please answer your question that goes with your reading. Okay. And as always, I have your reminder post. Make sure you have finished all assignments. Okay. Again, we are here. Email Ms. Stone or I. We try to get to your emails as quickly as possible. If it's during the school day, Ms. Stone may reply to you quicker than I am because I will be doing a certain amount of the teaching. But we both share that. So there's sometimes when we're away from the computer, but as soon as we get it, we'll check our emails. You can also text us, those of you who took down the numbers, and you can send notes through Remind if you want to use that as well. And you can post a comment here, either with an assignment. There's a place where you can post a comment on your assignment or you can go back to the stream and you can actually share something with us. So do not forget, you have access to us. Make use of that if you're unsure about anything. Other than that, I hope you have a wonderful, safe week. And we look forward to seeing some of you join our Google Meet next week. Thanks, everybody.